this is sort of the first step in a process that was initiated actually this summer by Western Mass Pollinator Network because they were taking care of the site. There was no maintenance plan built into this park. So it was just kind of like dangling out there after they spent millions of dollars building this beautiful park. So Western Mass Pollinator Network stepped in and has been maintaining it. And then we got to the point where we can kind of fill in these gaps. So the idea is that we're gonna keep maintaining this. And the one thing that you can do after this is keep in touch with Western Mass Pollinator Network or Local Harmony. And we're gonna be continuing to build a volunteer base and being do, uh, doing volunteer work for projects like this. We started on December 1st, 2016, because, um, well, no one was paying a lot of attention to the needs of pollinators like we have been for climate change. And uh, they're, they're in, you know, they're in decline. So one way we can do things is to plant more pollinator plants. And another way is to look at the way we take care of too much lawn. What Pulaski represents is one of the first anchor plantings for a Northampton pollinator pathway that will go from one end of town to the other. And another um, uh, site will be the Senior Center. Uh, we're already starting to work with the Senior Center. The Lilly Library and Forbes Library are very interested. And uh, Owen uh, had another huge group of volunteers uh, plant over at the Hungry Ghost. And if you haven't seen their garden in bloom, it's amazing. So it's really the, the beginning, and we can certainly count um, FOG, uh, Florence Organic Gardens, and the community gardens, and everyone's um, backyard or front yard, or if you're a gorilla planter <laughs> and you've picked another place in town. Um, so this is going to depend on volunteers for sure. Um, but it's a fun thing to do, and there's a lot of uh, reward um, to our pollinators and to us for helping out. I chose the plants in collaboration with Western Mass Pollinator Network, and um, it's my design in that I'm laying out the plants. And then I'm, I had a general design and understanding going into today, and then once I actually saw the plants, you know, then I just actually look at the beds and kind of fine tune it and lay them out. Plants were chosen to provide color and pollinator food, and they're also chosen so that they fit into the environment here. Mm -hmm. So that already kind of whittled down the selection process. And then in terms of actually laying them out, um, the idea is to create kind of a naturalized look mm -hmm. and to imitate how plants grow in nature. The planting plan's already in place from Stimson, so we're really just riffing off of that. The idea is basically to provide food for urban pollinator habitat. The Hungry Ghost Bakery, there's um, a surprising amount of pollinators that show up, like a vast range of different species will appear there. And it's in an obviously very urban setting. The plants that we're focusing on are the ones that attract the kind of widest range or um, really are most desirable by, by insects that like, you know, nectar. Did you bring your own shovel today? We did, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are you planting? Good question. <laughs> Dark Claire Grace. But ferns are next. Some kind of, it looks like it's going to be for a butterfly bush. Beautiful. That's what it sounds like, right? It's easy to get a bunch of volunteers to show up and put a few plants in in one afternoon, but it's hard to keep people coming back and that's the challenge of all of these you know, public projects. So what we're looking for um, and need the most is people to maintain these public spaces for years to come. All these community partners have been coming out and meeting with us and we're able to coordinate a bunch of different projects. So the Senior Center here in Northampton has a new director. She's all on board. She's a, you know, permaculturist and as well as Bridge Street School, Historic Northampton. So it's just, it's really exciting that once you get these emails going like, oh, and this person knows this person and oh, and they get really excited about the project. We have this whole network now. That's really... Um, that is amazing. Yeah, high energy and really ready to go. We're also planting a trial pollinator meadow on Crafts Avenue. So there's a new ramp and we are planting 460 meadow plugs over there as we speak. We approach people or entities that are public, community-based, and we say, wouldn't it be nice if, and we've been communicating with uh, the town, with the mayor, 
and the person in charge of central services and we said what do you think about putting in a meadow right here on Craft Avenue on this beautiful canvas and probably make it way less work and meadows often get overlooked and meadows attract pollinators. I think by this time next year we'll know if it's worked. Yeah, yeah. I think so. And if it works, the idea If continue, it works and they I'm say yeah and it looks great then we'll just say okay boom right to the end.